Good morning, everybody. We are going to be doing a little bit of bass fishing. I'm back home in Nebraska for just a couple days here before I head back to uh, to Texas. So like I said, I'm in Nebraska. Going to do a little bit of pond fishing. It's actually already 10 a.m., which is usually when I'm almost done fishing. I usually like to get kind of like a good good start on the day. Um, but it is freezing. It is still 48 degrees right now. I woke up, but it was like 36 uh, that was at like 6 a.m. So it's like, nah, I am not fishing uh, in 36 degree weather, especially pond fishing. I mean, boat fishing is a little bit different, but we are uh, we're all bundled up. We got the hoodies on, we got the uh, the old sweatpants on. No beanies, not quite beanie season yet, but we're getting close. So I'm excited. You know, I love fishing new new ponds. It's cold though, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes. It's gonna definitely be you know a fall bass fishing type of day where it may be a little bit tough. A little bit tough sometimes it is in the fall. Uh, just because it's so cold, you know, in the afternoons and the evenings are usually your prime. So if you guys are looking for a time to go fishing in the fall, I recommend I recommend in the evening just because the water's heated up all day. Fish are probably more active. You know, that doesn't mean you're not going to catch any in the uh, in the in the morning by any means or whatever. But I'm going to see what happens. We'll see. Hope you guys can uh, hope you guys can learn something. Stay tuned. Enjoy the video. I'll try to give you guys some tips. Oh, yeah, by the way, the winner of the mystery tackle box, you guys remember when I went fishing with Josie and we ate the MRE, is winner of that is JB Bros Fishing. You won the mystery tackle box, so slide into my DMs on YouTube and uh, I'll send you out your box. I have not selected the winners yet for the top five fall fishing baits video because I want to give everybody as much opportunity as possible. And that video is literally getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments every single day. So I'm going to let it go up for probably another four or five days just to make sure everybody who wants the lures gets an opportunity to win the lures and uh yeah that's pretty much it let's uh let's head to the lake Woo! made it um not entirely sure, honestly, if I'm allowed to fish here. Um, it is on a golf course, which typically uh, you're you're not not. I wouldn't say you're not allowed to. I've what I've found in golf courses is during like prime time golfing season they don't want you fishing it. But like right now when it's cold and no no one's golfing, they really don't care. There are a bunch of workers out here working, so uh, I'm just gonna walk up there and just start fishing. If they come by, I'm gonna ask them if it's chill if I if I continue to fish. And if they say no, I'll leave. It's not a huge deal. Um, most of the time they're pretty chill about it. So uh, I don't really recommend, you know, trespassing by any means, uh, but I'm just gonna walk up there and just, and just see if they're chill with me fishing. Uh, I don't know, we'll see if there's any, any fish in these, these golf course ponds. I have been to some pretty juicy golf course ponds in, in the past, so uh, this should be fun. I'm not gonna bring this camera though. I'm literally just gonna wear the GoPro and bring like two to three fishing poles, maybe a pack of Sankos or something. I, I wanna pack light in case, uh, in case I gotta make a run for it. Totally kidding, but let's uh, see if we can catch fish. All right, here we go. I'm uh, I'm headed to the pond here. Again, there's a lot of workers, so I, this could be very short-lived. Uh, I don't know if they're if they're chill. My buddy said the, that he's talked to the workers. They don't care if anyone fishes here, but uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll find out here in a minute. Pond's looking hella juicy, folks. I brought, in case you're wondering, I brought a uh, a Nico, like a Nico rig Senko, and a green pumpkin chatterbait and a green pumpkin craw. I assume this is fairly clean just because uh, just because um, it's a golf course pond and usually they don't get too dirty. I could be completely wrong, but we're gonna we're gonna find out here. Yeah, it's uh it's fairly clean. I'm actually gonna start off finesse just to see if there's any fish in here. My buddy said there is, but we'll uh, we'll find out for ourselves here. Uh oh, is that a fish? Oh that was a fish. That was a fish. Okay. Okay. Alright Flair, tighten your drag. Let's get Let's get the ball rolling here. I think I might have had my first bite. That's a very good sign, folks. That's my second cast. Uh-oh, is he there? Yup, 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 yup. Oh, he came off! Oh no, what the hell? I saw him, I saw him, I saw him. Uh-oh, that was a decent fish too. I thought it was a baby. He, uh, he was biting, biting just like a bluegill. That was actually like a two, two and a half pound largemouth. All right, there's fish in here, baby. We just gotta dial in. It's been a minute, folks. You gotta forgive me. I was in Mexico driving race trucks for the last week. I, I haven't fished in a, in a short minute. So uh, I'm a little bit rusty. We got this, though. We got this. Stay stay focused, Flair. Stay focused. 
All right, there is a tree. There's like a there's a like a stick out there. So I'm gonna put this little little Texas rig craw on. It's one of my favorite favorite presentations. You could throw a jig here. I know a lot of you guys probably watched my top five fall fishing baits video, and I said to get a jig, but craws jigs they're pretty similar. I just had a craw tied on already, and I'm just lazy like that. But you could for sure throw a little finesse jig or a little mock jig, a little football head jig through here if you wanted to. I just decided to stick with what I already had tied on. If it doesn't work, I might run back to the truck and grab a jig, but this, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident I'll catch a fish on this. Yep, there's one right out of the brush. That's what I was saying. Right there, baby. Right out of the brush. There's literally one stick up in this entire pond. And the first cast that I landed on it, he ate it on the fall. Woo! There we go. Not a giant, but I'll take him, folks. Oh, this fish is freezing cold. This is this is fall bass fishing at its finest right here. Doing a little bit of pond hopping. And uh, look at that. That's a gorgeous little guy. Ate that, ate that little craw right there. See you later, Jacob. Woo! Hell yeah, right there, baby. This is just a big fish bowl, essentially. It's filled with sand, not much to it. A little bit of brush and there is a fish on there. All right, I'm actually going back to the truck. I've got an idea. I've got an idea for, uh, for a better lure than what I brought with me that I think will work to catch these fish. All right, here we go. Got the secret weapon on. Let's go catch some fish. Oh, there's gonna be a fish right there. On it. Yup, yup. Oh, get up here. Get up here. <laughs> I called. I can see them swimming around down there. There's a school of them. Oh man, he slurped it too. There you have it, folks. The old pond fishing golf course secret lure. That done did it. Hell yeah, folks. I don't know. That was so weird. I just saw like a, a little swirl and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to catch one right here. All right. See you later, Chris. Boom, baby. Well, these fish aren't giant, folks. I apologize if you were looking for a, uh, a Texas-sized, you know, fishing video here. But, you know, I got, I got to work with what I've got here, which is uh, some Nebraska brute-filled ponds that, I've, uh, that I'm trying here. So, anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Again, that was on the, was on the old Ned rig. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite. Favorite just, you know, if it's tough fishing just to get a couple bites type of lure. If you guys want any of the products, the rod, the reel, the line, the lures that I'm using today, it will all be linked down below as always. That's a fish, that's a fish. Oh, on the chatterbait. Here we go. I decided to put down the old finesse rig and start covering some water looking for the big ones. And uh, I think we upgraded just a little bit. Not a giant. I mean, you know, what is what it is, but I'll take it. That's on a little, little bluegill colored uh, chatterbait and it's got a nice little finesse trailer on there again fall time fishing sometimes these fish can be a little bit finicky so sometimes you want to go with a little bit more of a uh, subtle presentation not a big old paddle tail but you know that worked all right austin see you later buddy Woo! oh whoa that way buddy yeah son there we go again on the ch -ch -ch chatterbait just a classic i know again if you guys watched the old uh the five favorite fall lures i told you that spinner baits are better than chatter baits sometimes uh it is true in ponds i have found i enjoy chatter baits more but you know in lakes in the fall i i enjoy a uh i enjoy a spinner bait just personal preference i mean i could be throwing a spinner bait right now and catching no fish or or a lot of fish you know there's only one way to find out and that's to throw it but i'm not going to take this uh this chatter bait off because i just caught a fish and that was like my second cast so um yeah we're gonna keep on just again covering some water until we, until we stumble upon a little school of them again. And then I might even hop to another pond here. We'll see. There's one, there's one. I knew it. I got hit on the, the cast before this and uh, I cast right back there. Come here, buddy. Woo, another chatterbait fish. Just slow rolling this bad boy on the bottom. I was kind of burning it and not getting any bites. And I thought, you know, maybe if I just kind of crawl it almost, you know, just almost like you would like a wobble head or something. And uh, that little dude just smoked it. Hell yeah, boys. See you later, Benjamin. Boom. Slow rolling the chatterbait, folks. That, that is what it is now come to. I threw a craw on a brush pile, caught a fish. 
through the Ned rig around and, you know, had a, had a fish or two. And then this thing, just, just slow rolling it on the bottom. Nice and easy. Something that just looks like an injured bluegill, you know, stirring up dust, crawfish, anything like that. But that's, that's pretty sick. I kind of like fishing this way. Just instead of just hopping it on the bottom, you're actually moving the bait consistently. And then all of a sudden you'll just feel, feel your line go slack. And that is a fish, folks. That's awesome. There's a fish, there's a fish on the paws. There we go. Again, I'm just kinda, I mean, I'm not working this like a jig, but it's almost like a jig, just crawling it on the bottom. And they're, they're just popping it like a jig. They, they hit it once, you feel them bite, just kinda like a Texas rig or a jig bite. And then you just, uh, you keep reeling and, and then, they, then they'll actually smack it. There we go, baby. Another squeak, squeak, McGee. That guy's been caught before, either that or I just ripped his face off. Maybe, I don't know. See you later, Evan. There, Evan goes, baby. Chatterbait fish. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay here. Um, I've caught, you know, just a few fish here and there. No big ones, though, which, you know, my name's Flair. You, you, can't, you can't complain too much, but uh, I'm probably gonna move to another pond here soon. I think there's a few more down the, down yonder, and uh, that maybe maybe we'll have some bigger ones. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna keep finishing around, you know, fishing around this pond. Go finish finish the lap here. See if I can catch a couple more fish and then move to a uh, hopefully move to a pond with some bigger fish. Oh God, there's one right there. Okay, all right. Okay, maybe I'll stay here. That was kind of exciting right there. You guys saw that, folks. That was fun. He smoked it right. Look at that. That was right there. He literally smoked it right at the bank. That is crazy how aggressive these fish are right now. That's weird. Like, they, they've been so, like, finicky all day long. They, they'll hardly eat the net rig, maybe a craw, this little chatterbait on the bottom. That dude just smoked it. That was crazy. See, that, that makes me want to stay here a little bit longer because if that one's that active, then there's got to be more active fish than that. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep throwing this freaking chatterbait. Well, that didn't take long. Literally just move spots first cast. I think I think with the sun coming up and heating up, they're eating the chatterbait. It's like as this day goes on, I'm catching a lot more fish on moving baits. That's a better one. That's the biggest one so far. Get up here, buddy. Woo! Hell yeah, that's a decent fish. I'll take that one, son. Barely even hooked. Right there. Little golf course pond largy. See you later, Henry. Whoop! Oh man, it's all muddy. Son of a like I was saying, as the sun's getting up and it's, I mean, it's heating, I'm almost ready to take my hoodie off. These fish are smoking the chatterbait. But when I first got here, I couldn't, I couldn't get anything on a chatterbait. It was, it was just odd. It's, it's like it heated up and they're just instantly turned on like a light switch. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. All right. You guys want to see, you guys want to see something kind of cool? Here we go. Let's try this. So I just got hit with a chatterbait and I think it was right about there. Normally I'd throw a Senko in there but I've just got this Texas rig. Let's see if I'll eat the craw. He missed my chatterbait. Let's see if I can get him to eat the craw on the follow up. Oh, that's a bite. So you got it? Yep, he's got it. There you go, baby. Hopefully you guys are taking notes, folks. Woo! You gotta have, a, gotta have some type of soft plastic, whether it's a Ned rig or a craw or a jig, I guess would work. Sanko's really good as a follow-up bait. I got smoked with the chatterbait and it, and it didn't come back and eat it. Threw in the old craw, first cast, baby. Woo! All right, Jeremy, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a toss. You don't have to walk down in the mud. Have fun, buddy. Woo! Hell yeah, baby. That worked. You guys wouldn't believe how many times that I would try to explain that tactic on videos and then I don't actually catch the fish. Right there, I actually caught the fish. So, use the chatterbait to find the fish throw the crawl in to catch the fish. There's one. Yep. Yep. Get up here, buddy. Another one. That one actually ate the chatterbait. He actually ate it first. First strike, he actually ate it. That's another bigger one, dude. They're starting to, I feel like the big girls are going to start out, start to uh, come out and play here just a little bit. That's actually a fairly fat fish. You guys can see that that one's, that one's been eating a decent amount. Decent. See you later, Zachary. Whoop. Bam. I don't know if I'm gonna leave now. I feel like I feel like the big ones are just starting to come out and play. I might I might just stay here and then you know save that other pond for maybe another another video for you guys. If you guys like 
the uh, I guess sneaking into golf course pond videos I haven't gotten yelled at, so I guess that's good. But uh, if you guys like these golf course, you know, urban urban fishing videos, let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button. And uh, if this video gets a lot of likes and a lot of comments about wanting to do more, I'll come back maybe later this week or you know, when I get back from uh, hanging out with the Googans for a little bit. Come back here and do episode number two. Here's another piece of bruch. Let's see if I can catch this fish. Assuming there's a fish on it. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah. That was a good, that's a good fish. Right out of the brush. Yes, sir. That's it. That's the big that's the biggest one so far. Oh my gosh, that's definitely the biggest one so far. That's a freaking toad. Oh shoot. Okay. All right. Woo! Yes, yeah, son. That's what we after, boys. Right out the brush. I'm very confident in saying as the day goes on and the sun gets up and it gets warmer that the big girls come out to play. Now that's not a giant. When I say big girls, you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. But you know, compared to the rest that I've been catching, I mean, that is a quality, quality largemouth. Climb down Mount Everest right quick. See you later, William. That is awesome, right out of the brush. I had a pretty good feeling when I pulled up and saw the, uh, saw the brush that that's, that would be the ticket. Just again, this is a big bowl. There's no structure whatsoever other than a freaking fountain. And there's just a couple little stick ups. And I launched that crawl right over there and started uh, just basically dragging it around is all. And that dude, he smacked it once, kind of let go of it. He just popped it, popped it again, and, and, he, and he had it. That is so much fun. Oh, oh, there's a fish. There's a fish, come here, buddy. Woo, all right. That was weird. He like, he hit it three or four times. I was thinking maybe it was a bluegill. He's just lightly tapping it. Just doing a little bit of pecking action. Smoked that little craw. There's another brush pile right in front of me. Just caught that little guy out of there. See you later, Yvonne. Woo! Well folks, that is the end of the fishing session portion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was something different, something I've, uh, you know, I've wanted to do for quite some time. And uh, I actually, it was kind of funny, I was, uh, I came back, set my GoPro down, and uh, changed the batteries and stuff, and then I, I walked back, forgot to turn the GoPro back on, and I actually, I talked to a worker, and um, you know, he, he obviously didn't care that I was fishing, so I went up to him, and I was like, yo, you know, it's, it's cool I fish here, right? Like, I, I assume so you guys haven't kicked me out. He's like, yeah, no, it's totally cool. Uh, we usually don't let people fish here, but now that it's off season, uh, they don't care. You know, nobody's there golfing, so he's like, you know, what's it gonna hurt that you're fishing? He said. Just don't keep the fish and you know, pick up all your trash, don't litter. And that's essentially it. So there, there it is. That's a tip for you guys. If you guys live around golf courses or know some fire ponds and golf courses that you probably got kicked out of all summer long, go call them, walk up to some workers that are hanging out and, uh, and see if they'll let you on. I mean, again, if you live down south, like in Florida or something, maybe you guys don't have an off season, but here in Nebraska, you know, nobody's golfing right now because it's freaking cold outside. So they didn't care that I was fishing, which was awesome. I caught fish on some of my favorite lures, you know, chatterbaits, Texas rigs, frogging and flipping, you know, all, all, the fun, all the fun stuff with the frog and flipping rod. I did not frog, but I, I did a little bit of flipping with the Texas rig. It was a great time. Like I said earlier, if you guys enjoy the uh, golf course pond fishing videos, and uh, let me know. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Leave a like on this video if I get a bunch of likes. Maybe I'll go to the other ponds. There's a couple other ponds that I know of around here that probably have a little bit bigger fish. I wanna save those for another video and I, and I wanna do a challenge. I don't wanna just go out and catch some fish. So let me know, give me some challenge suggestions, what you think I should do um, you know, at some golf course ponds or just some regular ponds in general. Before I forget, if you guys want any of the Ducks gear or Flare gear, I will always link it down below. You guys can check it out as well as the rod, the reel, the line, the lures that I was using today. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, I tried to give as many tips as I could while I was catching fish and I caught a lot of fish. None of them were giant, but who cares? I mean, it's, it's October, it's mid-October and I'm out here slaying fish in Nebraska. It's, a, it's always a good time fishing, guys. Even if I don't always catch the true Nebraska brutes. Thank you guys so much for watching and Peace.